Welcome to What's a Mom podcast. You are listening to doulas Petra and Jacqueline. Motherhood can be isolating and hard. We are two doulas who want to provide a safe place to talk about all things mom. From pregnancy to birth to postpartum to parenting. Join us as we have real conversations about real life. Hi guys, thanks for joining us. Welcome to What's the Mom Doula podcast. Woohoo! What episode is this? Thirty nine, I believe. Wow! And today is part two of our series for uh, what to expect during your first doula meeting. So, yes. if you if you haven't yet, check out last time or last episode, which was for meeting a birth doula, and today is going to be about meeting a postpartum doula. Yeah, sweet. Mm-hmm. Um, I personally never had a doula at all, which is funny because I didn't really know much about them. But um, Petra has had a doula, a birth doula, and a postpartum doula. Yes. So, yeah, that's awesome. I honestly didn't really know about it until I didn't even know. Like, I just decided to go to school and do it, but (laughs) I had no clue. And, like, looking back, I wish that I would have had that option yeah especially a birth doula yeah well it's nice to be able to know our options that we have out there right absolutely yeah yeah yep very important some of the things are going to overlap with uh what would happen at the initial meeting with a birth doula as well And there's also the options that some people will do package deals where they include both birth doula services and postpartum doula services. Yes, I've seen that. Um, Which will be a little bit more, obviously, because it's going to be more hours. But we're going to focus just on kind of like the postpartum doula side of it today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess the first thing would be to say um, how much... Usually, does a postpartum doula charge? So, postpartum doulas will charge per hour. Yeah. Whereas the birth doula, they were like a package deal, and yeah, because births are on a, you know, you can't, you can't tell them. exactly. Yeah. Whereas postpartum, you can plan your visits, so they charge per hour. So the amount that they charge will vary depending on the area that you live in. Yeah. Um, So that can change, but it will be per hour. Yeah. So then um, some doulas will have like a minimum, I'll do two hour, minimum two hour visits or minimum three hour visits at a time, depending on the the person. Yeah. And then you kind of can, some of them, I guess, will make packages and you'll get like discounts per hour if you do look larger amounts yeah um or they just do a flat fee of this is how much per hour you choose how many hours you're you're wanting right yeah that makes sense Mm -hmm. uh so then um i guess the next question would probably be what kind of services can the postpartum doula offer yes and like how much is it? It's roughly around like 25 to 30 an hour, right? In our area where we live, it is. Yeah. But it, it can vary, I guess. Yeah. Depending some, on where. Yeah. Some places it'll only be 20 an hour. Some places it could be 40 an hour. Yeah. It depends where you live. Yeah. Yeah. And there's postpartum doulas that work night shifts as well, right? Yeah. And that would be even more. Yeah, usually they charge a little bit more for night shifts. For night shifts, yeah. Mm-hmm. Again, that could vary. Yeah. What me and Petra would charge could be totally different from somebody else. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I guess you're if you're going to hire a postpartum doula in the daytime, the duties are going to be a little bit different than if you were to hire one for the nighttime. Yes, absolutely. So what would you say would be some nighttime duties that a postpartum doula would do? 
Um, well, if they're bottle fed, then probably feeding, um, you know, swaddling them, rocking them to sleep, just giving a mom a break, I would say, would be because mom's exhausted, right? Um, yeah, that would be the biggest one. Yeah. And even if mom is breastfeeding, sometimes the doula can go grab the baby when they wake up if they're not bed sharing, whether yeah. it's from a different room or from a different bed, and bring them to mom, change the diaper after, put them back. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, usually moms who like to hire doulas for nighttime are the ones who have babies who are waking up uh, more often at night. <laughs> And they are not getting enough sleep. Yeah. Babies at that age would be not sleeping long stretches. <laughs> so mom would be exhausted. Mm -hmm. And every baby yeah. is different. So some will sleep a little bit longer than others. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's hard to say. Yeah. Yeah. And then in between that, they can uh do other tasks like maybe they're washing and sanitizing the bottles or maybe they are uh, a, load a load of laundry, laundry. yeah a yeah. load of laundry washing some dishes and maybe yeah. prepping some snacks for mom to eat the next day yeah um yeah just some things like that simple tasks around the house yeah yeah exactly and so how about a daytime shift? That could be anywhere from letting mom nap um, to, you know, making a meal. Like if she has kids at home, um, making, you know, if she wants dinner made or, you know, the little ones want to go for a walk or to the park, that sort of stuff. Just, again, give mom whatever kind of time she needs mm -hmm. yeah that also depends on the doula too though because i know some doulas don't want to leave the house okay so they don't want to take the kids out of the house they don't want to go out and grab groceries they don't want to walk the dog but other doulas say will say anything you, like if you need help and it helps you yeah then i'll go so if those are the tasks that you want you need to make sure you specifically you ask, ask the doula. yes Absolutely. Because again, we can't read your mind. We have no idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of tasks that could be like taking the garbage out. That could mm. be literally anything. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And it could be like just helping with stuff around the house. It could be watching baby so mom can have a break. It could be watching the older siblings so mom has time to bond with the baby. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It could be and all kinds of things. Yeah. And sometimes the mom doesn't even know what she needs until the time comes. <laughs> and then you're like, you know what? I think I actually prefer this. That was really nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It could mean just going to have a bath. Yeah. While the kids go to bed and say you have a colicky baby, you know, mom wants to have a bath and you just snuggle the baby or, you know, put them in a carrier and rock them, anything mm -hmm. like that. Anything that helps mom out. Yeah. Their request Absolutely. could be really anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then I guess to specify things that are not done by a postpartum doula. Um, I'd say they're not a house cleaner so they're not going to do deep cleaning yeah so light household duties like things that are constant like the sweeping and the dishes and the yeah. lawn the baby's laundry some doulas will just do all the laundry too it depends on the doula again yeah um those kind of tasks yes but a postpartum doula is not going to be scrubbing your toilets and pulling out appliances and cleaning behind them and doing your floorboards no <laughs> no 
That's not in our description. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, they're also not going to um, be a babysitter while you go out on a date. Yeah. It's more so like help mom out around the house. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. anything to do with the little one. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, postpartum doulas are not going to replace the partner or the grandparents. Like if grandma's coming over to help or, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, they're not we there to replace them. Yeah, we could be in the back doing whatever. Because mm -hmm. I know some moms think, oh, well, I don't need a postpartum doula because my husband's around. Well, sometimes you still need a postpartum doula to help because maybe maybe your partner is also really exhausted from waking up and helping with the baby, right? Yep, and a lot of them go to work. Yeah. That's just... The life so even, of a dad, yeah. yeah. So even if they're home, you can still have a doula around to help. And maybe both of you go have a nap. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so then I guess the other thing to think about is when you are looking at hiring a postpartum doula, uh, we said this about the birth doula as well, but make sure that there's a contract in place. Yes, absolutely. So you know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. So what your what their role is, what you can expect, what they can expect. Yeah, absolutely. Good idea. It's good to have a contract. Yeah, absolutely. For anything mm -hmm. like that, because... Um, <laughs> you just want to cover your butt. Yeah. Yeah. And I think another thing would be like, um, you know, like if they, like I personally, this is just a boundary that I would have. Um, it has something to do with the kids, but um, I've heard of people being like, oh, could you bath my children or whatever? <laughs> Oh I yeah. Probably would not. <laughs> yeah. Just because there could be like that, like, oh, they touched me or something, and like we just stay away from that. I would not do that. I know yeah. some people, like if they know the people, like they might, but anyways, I think that's a big thing that um That's yeah. true. Generally speaking, most doulas will say no to that type of care for the other siblings. I think so. Yeah, absolutely. That's where you would be like, hey, mom or sister or somebody that, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> or the dad or whatever, whatever yeah. the mom would feel comfortable with, but not something that, yeah, we would do. That is a good point. Yeah. So, yeah, the doulas are doing anything with siblings. It's going to be just entertaining them or it's going to be feeding them. <laughs> yep keeping but them alive yeah but it's not going to include personal care for the other children yeah absolutely yeah that is true <laughs> I think that's a good point because as a mom like that is a big task to like bathe your children and if you are healing from, from postpartum or whatever right like mm-hmm it might be just something that, yeah, I probably personally would put in my contract. Be like, I do not deal with anything like that. <laughs> let's just yeah. keep that. Let's just keep that separate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is true. Yep. Yeah. Not that. But yeah, anything to do with, um, you know, care for mom, you know, whatever. It's mostly for mom and baby, most yeah. of the things. Absolutely. I would say <laughs> nap is probably a really big one that moms would pick for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know Petra's like, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm about to have this baby anytime, and that's probably something I'm going to utilize. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're coming for two hours? Awesome. 
I'm going yeah. for a nap. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, um, so then in terms of uh, payment to doulas as well, you'll have to make sure that you talk to them about uh, how you're going to pay. Are they, do they only take cash? Do they have some type of interact system where you can play, pay by debit, debit or visa? Uh, can you do e-transfer? Yeah. And then are you going to pay like the large amount all at once until you, and then you just use up your hours or are you going to just pay each, each visit, right? Each yeah, time. Yeah, absolutely. They come over. So you want to make sure you talk about all that as well when you're doing the yeah. contract. Absolutely. That would definitely be in our contract. Mm -hmm. to make sure that everyone is happy. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and sometimes I know some mothers also, I mean, this wouldn't be the only reason you hire a doula, but sometimes it's nice to just sit there and even just talk to somebody. Like just um, going yeah. over how the birth went and... Yes how you feel about it and how you're feeling postpartum debriefing. And yeah. Sometimes that's really like just as important as well. Yeah. I agree. Some people really need that. Yeah. Yeah. I remember with my second, I had hired a postpartum doula and I had just figured out that I had postpartum depression. And it was, that was a big thing for me was like being able to talk because then I can talk about how I felt and that helped me kind of overcome and get through it a little bit easier being Absolutely. able to talk. And so she was able to recommend some ideas um, for me mm -hmm. and some people that I could go to if I was wanting professional help, some things that I could do on my own, you know, kind of a mixture of things. Yeah. And that was really nice as well. Yeah, absolutely. And so, yeah, I think it's just like, it's really important if you are really struggling to mm. always reach out. Absolutely. Yeah. And sometimes the doula can also be there to help with uh, like any concerns you end up having Yeah. with uh, feeding baby, whether it's breastfeeding or formula feeding. Yeah. Or some ideas on how to deal with a colicky baby. Yeah. Say you just want them to come over and just you want to chat with them about ideas. How to, um, you know, get through that period of time. Mm -hmm. so you're just like, I would like to hire you for two hours. Can you please come and share your knowledge with me? Mm -hmm. It's true. And I don't think there's really a limit. Like you just, yeah. I think anything to do with mom and baby. Yeah. It's true. And sometimes it's nice to be able to just hand baby off and go have a shower or a bath <laughs> and yes. not have to worry. Okay. Do I have to bring the baby in with me? And then I can't properly wash my hair because I'm holding this baby or worry. Okay. I'm putting the baby in the seat or, you know, in a bed or something, but now they woke up in the middle of my bath and they're screaming and I can't enjoy it. Right. So sometimes that's yeah. even really nice. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I have I a feeling that's what you'll want to do. <laughs> <laughs> Especially since this is baby number five for me. <laughs> At the end of the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a reason the mom bun is like a thing, right? <laughs> you put your hair up, it doesn't look as greasy. <laughs> it is so true. <laughs> it is so true. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. The struggle is real. And I remember other times where I just wanted uh, my postpartum doula to watch my older child so that I can just cuddle my baby and just watch a show on Netflix. <laughs> like, I just want to have time to just cuddle this baby without worrying about my other child, like crawling on top of me and wanting my attention. Right. Yeah. So sometimes it will it will that. be hard. It will be hard because yeah, you will have four other kids that will need your attention. Yeah. Yeah. 
So it will be nice to have that. Absolutely. Yeah. So the type of needs that you have will vary, but there's a, a large scope of what a postpartum doula can do for you and help with. And so it's just important to talk to Absolutely. the doula at the interview to ensure, okay, so these are some of the ideas of things I think I might need. Yeah. And just remembering that postpartum doulas, most of them will offer services within any time within that first year. So even if your baby is already six months old and you're thinking to yourself, okay, uh, my baby still isn't sleeping, maybe. Yeah. I'm exhausted and I need some help. I don't have much other support around me. You can still go and find a postpartum doula at that point. It doesn't have to be right after you give birth. No. I feel like in the first year, it is the hardest. Absolutely. Yeah. That entire year, yeah. You're, you're just everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's something else to remember. So you might be going to this interview while you're pregnant, thinking ahead. You might be going when you already have this baby and you're like, you know what? I, I didn't realize I needed this help, but I need it now. Yeah. No shame. Yeah. Everybody has different journeys and, you know, mm -hmm. if you need help, you need help. Mm -hmm. And it is very, very beneficial. I can tell you that if having actually hired postpartum doulas myself, it is very beneficial. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You did with all of them, right? Mm, not every single baby, but. Did you do with Abby? Yeah, you did. I didn't with my last baby, no. You did it. You did with... This last baby, I hired a house cleaner. Because uh, my... A lot to have to clean, yeah. Yeah. My... I didn't feel like... I kind of like wanted to hire a postpartum doula, but I felt like it was more beneficial for us to spend that money in the budget for a house cleaner that time. But this time around... I'm feeling like I think a postpartum doula is a little bit more important. <laughs> so I just yes. kind of, yeah. with you, four children, are, with five children now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. And um, yeah, the like the amount of hours that you do, it can vary. <laughs> you can say, okay, I'm just I just need someone for like the span of this week, like maybe I want someone to come for two or three hours every day during this week. Yeah. Or you could say, I'm going to just do it once a week. So like every pick, I don't know, pick a day, every Monday, <laughs> that maybe that's the day that your partner goes back to work, your husband's going to work or something, right? You say, okay, so when he goes back to work Monday after the weekend, I need some, a little, just a little bit of help to kind of uh, transition help. yeah transition that way so then it's yeah. maybe two or three hours maybe even four hours every Monday for however many weeks right yeah so it just depends on what you feel your needs are yeah and most doulas are very flexible with the amount of hours and how many they'll do and how close or spread out they'll do them yeah absolutely mm -hmm. Yep. It's uh it's a benefit, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> it is. So it's there's some things that overlap with hiring birth doulas and there's some things that are a little bit different, but yeah. In the end, doulas are there to just help you through this transition in life. It's a big one. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Don't have to do it on your own. <laughs> no. You do We're not. not need to. No. It takes a village. It definitely does, yeah. For real. Life yeah. is hard. And, yep, yeah, with five kids, I can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Some people have more than me, so if I... I'm oh, not gonna my <laughs> gosh. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> Just having having that option to be able to have extra help is a blessing. So, yeah, yeah. I think that about covers it, don't you think? 
I think so. Yeah. That's probably a, the main things you're going to talk about during your meeting. Yeah, absolutely. And like we said, with the birth doula, sometimes the first person you meet with, you're going to click and you're going to say, you know what? Yeah. Like I want to hire you now on the spot. Right away. Yeah. But then other times you might need to meet a couple people and say, you know, I got to find the right one. Mm -hmm. Cause I mean, they're, they're helping you during a very, um, it's a very intimate moment. Yeah. A very vulnerable time in your life. And you want someone that you feel comfortable with for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. absolutely so our next podcast i'm either gonna be thumbs up uh, petra yeah you got another thumbs up <laughs> i'm in the next podcast episode i'm either gonna be like extremely pregnant like about to give birth or i'll have already had a baby or yeah you might just have a baby <laughs> so we shall see true that <laughs> we shall see what happens yeah so hopefully that helps anyone who's looking for a postpartum doula uh, get some ideas of what to expect. Yes. And uh, maybe know like what you need to bring up. If the doula doesn't bring it up, you can bring up some of these things. Yeah. Yeah. And if you know anybody else who's looking at possibly hiring a postpartum doula, you can send them this video as well. Absolutely. Share it. And uh, yeah, leave us some comments. Let us know what you like or what you don't like because it helps yes. us improve our podcast episodes. Yes. Absolutely. And make sure you subscribe, follow, like, all the good stuff. It helps get our, our episodes out there, right? Yep, sure does. Mm -hmm. Then we can share our mission to inspire moms. Yes, exactly. Yeah, we need it. I do. Until next time. What, what the, the mom? mom?